As the designer for new building projects, you are confronted with many decisions concerning the cost and values of various systems. Today, drinking water quality within a building has to be addressed with as much concern as air quality, without losing sight of cost, energy usage, and maintenance issues. Let's listen in on a design development meeting between the architect, the building's owner, and the mechanical engineer who begins the discussion. We no longer have a choice. We have to take responsibility for the building's drinking water or risk liability for any future costs and damages. I say this dedicated drinking water concept is the way wait to a, go. Wait a minute. I must have missed something. What's this designated drinking water? Dedicated drinking water. I was explaining it when you came in. It's a very simple concept. Basically, what you're doing is separating your drinking water from your service water. Water enters the building from your source, and there, right at the point of entry, you split it into two lines. A large line for your service water, heating system, bathrooms, and maintenance use, everything that isn't consumed. Then you have a smaller, totally separate, totally independent line for your drinking water, a dedicated line, just like the dedicated electrical line for your computer. I understand the concept behind a dedicated system, but why worry about drinking water quality in the first place? Well, the primary issue, especially since 9-11, is security, which means taking control of the quality and delivery of the water supplied in our new building, the same type of security we demand on HVAC systems. You know, you're right. Water quality has become an issue with many of our employees. People are afraid to drink the water from the city main, not just here but all over. They want a food-grade product. They're paying a dollar a gallon for bottled water, a dollar and a quarter if you add bubbles. A dedicated drinking water system can provide clean, safe, fresh-tasting water to every drinking outlet in the building for pennies a day. Now, take a look out there. I don't know what the air quality index is today. All I know is you can see what you're breathing. You wouldn't dream of circulating that stuff through your building without purifying it first. We discussed the whole green building concept at a, a meeting a couple weeks ago. I remember. You want to apply the same concept to drinking water? Right. Think about it. Water comes into our building from city mains or wells. Who knows what's in it, or more important, what will be in it tomorrow. So we run a separate line for drinking, put a filter on it, purify it, and boom, we've got spring water on tap throughout our entire building. If we add a remote chiller to the dedicated line, we've got cool spring water on tap. Then we can get rid of all those EWCs with their noisy compressors and dirty grills and ugly metal boxes every 50 feet. Boy, would I like that. The corridors would look ten times better without all those appliances spoiling the decor. It would be a perfect opportunity to use some decorative drinking fountains. You'd not only add some class to the corridor, you'd save a lot of space as well. Oh, we'd save on energy costs, too, without those compressors starting and stopping all over the building. Not to mention that those individual coolers also pose a threat of escaping refrigerant into the living space. While with a single remote chiller... Our maintenance costs would be lower, refrigerant risks would be limited to a mechanical area, and we would have a sustainable system good for the life of the building. Not to mention the cost of replacing all those throwaway coolers every five years or so. Nothing looks older than last year's water cooler. But if we decide to go with a dedicated system, are we locked into using one remote chiller? No. In fact, it's just the opposite. A dedicated drinking water system actually gives you greater flexibility in deciding how to chill and serve your drinking water. We can have a good-sized single remote chiller or a few smaller ones or a combination. We design the system to suit our specific needs. Meanwhile, by installing a purifying system on the dedicated line, you can remove sediments, bacteria, cysts like cryptosporidium, chemicals, metals, bad taste, and odors, you name it. And we'll be providing safe drinking water to everybody, whether we chill it or not. Why can't we just have filters on individual coolers? Well, a uh, couple reasons. For one thing, those coolers aren't equipped with filters, so you'd have to install them separately. And in order to remove anything other than basic sediments and bad tastes, you'd need a filter that's almost as big as the cooler. Where would we put it? Plus, there's a tremendous amount of maintenance involved in changing all those filters all over the building. And the possibility that one or more might not get changed. I'd hate to be liable for that. But when you put a filter on the dedicated line right after the point of entry, your maintenance is limited to one location and it's much easier to monitor the quality of water from a single location, too. Say, what about using bottled water coolers? It seems silly to go back to the days of water bearers hauling water containers from the well. To me, it's like saying, why have central air conditioning? We can just use window units. Anyway, remember that AT&T building we did a few years ago? 
They called me the other day to complain about having to use bottled water. It seems their employees refused to drink tap water from the electric water coolers we supplied. They had to install 26 bottle coolers, and they're drowning, pardon the pun, in bottled water. There are bottles everywhere, about a hundred of them, in corridors, closets, elevators, all taking up valuable space, cluttering up their fancy interior, and staining their carpet. They say we should have seen this coming. So that's why you called this meeting, to tell us about dedicated drinking water. Can't say that I blame you. And that wasn't all they had to say. They're spending over $50,000 a year just to serve water to their employees. And they're not even sure it's really all that pure after all. I understand. You want me to give the go-ahead to install a dedicated drinking water system in our new building? Yes. We could even put a small plate at each fountain, notifying the user that the water is treated for their protection. This would head off any thoughts of switching to bottled coolers. I'm beginning to understand some of the advantages of going with a dedicated drinking water system. But I have a feeling that there's always going to be some employees who bring those small bottles of water into the building. We have the option to install bottle fillers in the office areas or even the lunchroom. Then they could fill their bottles, thermoses, or carafes with the pure chilled water we provide. For years, we've had an appliance mentality about drinking water. Need some drinking water? Stick an appliance on your wall or in a cubby hole. I'm just as guilty as the next one. It's time we stop thinking about it as an appliance and start thinking about it as a complete system, one that will deliver safe, monitored water to every outlet in the building. But buying the concept and buying the product are two different things. What's the bottom line? Well, the bottom line is this. Your employees are insisting on a food-grade drink of water. I'm afraid they will demand bottled coolers if we turn a deaf ear. A dedicated drinking water system that purifies as it chills is certainly cheaper than going with individual units. It costs less to filter it, to chill it, and to serve it. It's the most efficient economical way to serve safe drinking water in this building. For further information, call Filtry at 800-930-3367 and ask to speak with a dedicated drinking water expert. He will be glad to size a system for your project and give you a budget figure for estimating purposes.